Track. It is our sixth, and uh, the word we're getting from NASCAR. Remember, I told you that Brian Scott was called back in for a missing lug nut. Well, it turns out they were wrong. So what they are going to do is slow everybody down and give Scott his position back. Yeah, it's not unprecedented. That happened a long time ago. I was one. But uh, it wasn't going to be forever because Irwin got his revenge a little bit later in the race, lap 147. And this time, Tony Stewart backed heavily into the wall. Well, perhaps Irwin on board with him now. Take a look at this, giving a little nudge to Tony Stewart, perhaps getting his revenge for the earlier spins. These two used to race against each other in sprint cars. Tony Stewart said afterwards it was much the same in those days as well. But he was not very impressed. And as you can see, Tony Stewart here was out of his car, throwing his gloves at Kenny Irwin, and in fact picked up an official reprimand from the NASCAR organization. This at Martinsville in the truck series, he's driving the 54. Chad Freewald is underneath it, Kenny. Well, he just simply goes to pass. The 38's getting up to speed, and I can't believe what I just saw there, uh, Jeff Hammond. The 38 just hey. gets up and runs right in. Hey, Turney, but look here. I'm telling you right now, Mr. Wallace was not happy. He's like, <laughs> hey, man, what's going on here? Yep. Come on, now. Hey, don't be talking back to me. That's the, this is when the caution is out. The caution is out. And contact made by the nine. Wow. Sending the 54 into the wall. Remember, we saw at Texas a couple years ago, Kyle Busch, motors, Kyle Busch driving his own truck and Ron Hornaday having issues. That's Ron Hornaday and Kyle Busch's truck having issues. There's the caution. See the caution's out. out. Ron's ahead of Bubba. A little contact there. He runs After him into the, the wall. After the caution came out. He's contemplating his next move. And he just did his next move. 115 laps down, but is back out and running. You're on board with him here. The white eight is slow ahead on the bottom. It looked about like a replay of what the 28 did to the 42 earlier in yeah, the event. Just, just in, in the opposite. Well, this is the one that happened earlier. You see Brennan on the inside, J.J. Yaley in the middle of the straightaway, moves to the left and just turns Brennan into the outside wall. And then we saw just... Back on lap 117, watch the 14 right up in front of the 42. Yeah, it was just Ray hard racing, and uh, Montoy didn't like the fact that he slid in front of him, so here's Tony Stewart retaliated. Cutting down the right side tires on Montoya's car, and here's what happened. Montoya frustrated, goes to the garage area while they try to repair his car. He gets back on the racetrack, and we go back to green, and this bump. That was just a, hmm. an eye for an eye, looked like to me. Guys in the old days used to not talk about it. You know, we saw Denny Hamlin talk about it, and then they used to wait a race or two. two Underneath. Casey Kane looks like Casey Whoa. went to go Casey just tuck yeah. in behind her and just misjudged it got into her right rear turned her into the wall hard impact man right down the straightaway here Woo. she's going by Casey here making the pass and man he just tips her in the right rear and turns her into the fence oh. got into Alex Kennedy both set to make their sprint cup debut today and here's a replay of what happened that's just guys yeah. not paying attention. That's, That's all right. that is. 19, the white machine of Alex Kennedy. And Pauly Haraka apparently not watching what's going on in front of him. I, just uh, drilled him. He, I have no idea what he was doing on that. With Greg Biffle now, Marty. And Greg, sometimes at Darlington, there's just not enough room early on, is there? Oh, no, it's not, not enough room. Uh, everybody's doing good. But uh, Ron Hornaday, I mean... That's it in a nutshell. I mean, that's why he doesn't going to race for Richard Childress anymore. And the guy's got zero talent, zero ability, and uh, wouldn't let the five. The five had to run on him two or three times down the front stretch, and uh, five kind of got into him because he ran the five down on the apron and brake checked him right in the middle of the corner and wrecked us all. And just that just takes absolutely zero class to do that. Brake check a guy right in the middle of the corner and wreck us all. Uh, I hope NASCAR does something about it. That's just ridiculous. Your car done for the day, Greg? Oh, yeah, we're done. I mean, just slammed me against the belts, you know, and jerked my neck off, about jerked my neck off. Wasn't expecting it. Um, I just I just hope they do something. I hope they penalize him or park him for the last race of the season because stuff like that can't be tolerated when we're all out there. We're all professional, and that is just, that's not even close to being a race car driver, that kind of, that kind of stuff on the racetrack. I, I don't understand. Left over on the right side of the track. Here's what happened with Gordon and Burton. 
Well, I don't know about that. Wow. Hard contact for the 24. To me like Burton did that on purpose. No, it looked like the 24 slid up in front maybe and then jumped out of the gas as the caution came out. That's a pretty good lick, too. Facing here at Bristol. See what happens here. Kyle Busch dives in on her, gives her a little bit of a shove. You know, he's wanting to go. He sees Tabo dying. He sees Johnny Sutter going. Just gets in the back of her, coming off turn four and around. She goes, she does a nice job. I think she absolutely missed the inside wall. Going to get another view here. How many times in the history of Bristol, Phil, have you been backwards and spinning around and don't close? Oh, there they go. There went again. Oh, there they go. Hard. A car, he can't do that. Didn't make it that time. Caution is out. Here comes another car spinning oh, around. Right. And it looks over 34. And that's all because he locked it down. Spin and save, though, for LaJoy. As this wreck is still going on. I'm not so I I think going on purpose. Still uh, going on purpose. I think one of them's throttles hung. I'm not sure which one. I would have guessed the 21. Uh... I don't think it's unhung yet. Now, they're both stuck because, remember, it's been raining here for two days and two nights. I let my emotions get come in front of uh, my passion. I agree that NASCAR should have done something with me. I don't agree that they didn't handle a situation uh, that happened on the cool down lap. Uh, and with that said, uh, you know, we had a lot of fans to send in uh, donations last week to the... Uh, uh, towards our fine, I'm going to pay it personally. There we go. You can see the 18 and the 29 hit again there, and Kyle Busch just goes dead left and pretty much hooks Kevin Harvick in the 29. Last Sunday, Urban was once again in the spotlight in the Pocono 500, lap 72. Watch here as car four Urban makes contact with number 12, Hutt Strickland, triggering a major incident involving several cars, including Dale Earnhardt's Raider and Richard Petty flying over machines, as well as stuff going on on the racetrack right now as A.J. Foyt has collided with a car out there. I don't know who it was, but they banged under, uh, under some uh, caution. Let's see what happened. They were just trying to get in line, and uh, here's a replay of it. See Foyt. Yeah, he, he really got out of shape. Hit oh. off the wiki in car number seven. Yeah. Boy. I think Allen might have suffered some damage on that uh, little incident. I don't know whether AJ did or not. Well, then he Shane Meal has bumped and run the last three cars he's passed. And you see he's got in the back of Dale Jarrett there at least once. It's an effective technique, but it's not pretty. Right now, Shane Mills in the 13th position. Dale Jarrett in the 90 in the 12th position. Oh, John Wood just got shot up the hill by Carl Edwards. Well, and Dale Jarrett. And Shane Mill get together on the front stretch. Caution oh is out. Caution's out. And oh. with three laps to go, that will be the race. Dale Jarrett to be. I don't think he's going to do anything that he shouldn't, but he's definitely going to tell this young man that that was unnecessary. Dale just waved off the NASCAR official, said, I'll be with you in just a minute. off the outside wall for Logano, and it ends in a shower of sparks. I am not surprised. I, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> 